lovely people welcome back guys just join me as i make dinner for my family you know the way it is in canada goodness i was overwhelmed but what do i do i just had to move do you know i left this tomatoes and everything in my basement for over six weeks i totally forgot that i even had it i think i was clearing out my fridge one day and i don't even know i mistakenly told my son to help me put it in the basement instead of the garage my garage is usually very cold it's like a mini freezer trust me i buy stuff because it's really cold in canada as at the time of doing this video as at today it is minus 15 degrees in ontario it was not this cold as at when i put it there but it was still like chilly and all that minus 15 is already freezer level guys we are living inside freezer in canada like minus 15 and I have friends that are in Calgary, Alberta, Manitoba, Saskatchewan. They're already telling me that they are minus 35 already. <laughs> hey, who sent me? <laughs> but I'm not going anywhere. I will stay here. I'm not going to be part of people that will be like, hey, the code is going to chase me away. By God's grace, I would like, I will be strong in this place. People have survived winters. Like I see people and I'll be asking them that, how many here, how many years have you been here for? And they tell me like, told me I've been here for 14 years, for 22 years. I'll be like, I never thought of going back. Like you don't want to live in another place. How can you be living inside deep freezer and you're totally fine with it? But guys, they are fine. So if they are fine, I will also be fine. I went out, I went to pick my daughter, like, this is like cold season. This is winter season. I came back and I was just in a hurry because I quickly had to like finish up dinner. They had been waiting for me. My mom was with my kids, but I already told her that she should like help me handle the kids and I'll be fixing dinner. So unfortunately, I went to pick my daughter from the daycare with my jacket and everything. I just entered the kitchen all over again. I was doing that. What you saw before was before I went. And this is me like when I came back. I had even totally forgotten that I had not removed my jacket. I just grabbed everything I could grab and I was like, let me just enter the kitchen because when people are hungry, they are hungry. What we are having this night is rice and stew, basically. <laughs> like, on a normal day, I would have, like, done a lot of paparazzi and all that. But, you know, it's even the simplest meals that even make sense. And I just like the fact that I get to, like, cook for my family, my children. What are we even going to buy? If you keep on buying food from outside, you just be wasting money and you won't save money. So, whatever it is, I just, I'm just, like, appreciative that everybody takes whatever I give them. They know that sometimes I go all out. Sometimes when I can't, like, stress myself, they'll manage it like that. Like, my son will even tell me that, Mommy, don't worry, I don't even want chicken. Just give me white rice and stew. And I'll be like, ah, 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 you have to take some protein now. So I have my processor here instead of me making like the normal stew i like when i make like this kind of like textured stew that has like lumps and everything so i'm just going to like give this a stir i'll be like cooking it on low heat on a normal day i would have roasted it but everything was just the way it was and i just had to like leave it at some point to go attend to some other things so after some time it had boiled it had boiled down i now wanted to like make the stew i added some onions to my oil i'm using some garlic salt this garlic salt is the bomb from the time i discovered it in this particular store food basics i have been buying it like it is everything most times i just use it instead of like the plain salt and i'm adding some of like my pepper bees that i already boiled into that like these days most times i advise people to like boil it before they blend or vice versa or, like maybe you roast but my mom actually told me but i was like i'll just do it any way i can jerry everything will still be okay at the end of the day and this was just me like just trying to make the stew i'll start making the rice very soon i'll just cover it up for it to cook for some time on low heat or let me just say like medium heat whilst i start preparing to make my rice this is basmati rice i'll be adding some salt i'll be adding some oil as well i like adding some oil in my basmati rice it makes it like come out one one <laughs> if you get what you, if you know what i mean you know what i mean right I'll be adding some hot water and I'll be boiling this on. I start boiling my basmati first on like, I won't say like very high heat, but let me just say like medium and later on I will like take it down until when it is like almost cooked. So that's what works for me for basmati. But sometimes for basmati rice, they have like coconut head. No matter how much you treat it, they will still be somehow. The best basmati rice, I mentioned that in my Insta, on my Instagram, on my Insta stories. If you don't follow me on Instagram, please do. Like guys, I share things there every single time. Please, YouTube is not 
know where it ends. Please follow me on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram yet, you're missing a lot. I can tell you that one categorically. You're missing a great deal. Like I saw this rice that they sell in Dollarama. If you are in Canada, you understand what I mean. That basmati rice, goodness, it's $2, but it's one of the best basmati I have ever cooked ever like it was good i like i was shocked even though the other good name brands that i have tried it doesn't come close it's in a small pack hopefully i'll find a bigger pack very soon and so guys my stew is cooked i added some fish i don't know who sent me these children did not follow me to eat this fish thank god we had some chicken in the fridge i just like microwave that and i give them to i give that one to them instead of the fish but me i am a fish lover let me know if you're a fish lover in the comment section so guys this is our simple meal in canada you just have to do whatever you have to do and all that at the end of the day it matters when it comes from the heart when it is made with love i made it with love and they eat it like that <laughs> you get thank you so much for coming i hope to see you in subsequent videos i will i'll be sharing many many more things this is like lifestyle for me so expect many things on this channel hopefully you learned something today and i was able to like just with you guys i'll see you in my subsequent videos stay blessed bye